So, May, just first of all, thank you so much for chatting to us today. Just how have you been since the season's end? What have you been, what kind of what you've been up to? Um, yeah, just um, cracking on with work. And then I, as soon as we last booked this week for some annual leave, family enjoying, not training, having my evenings free and weekend. So it's, it's been nice. And kind of just, first of all, kind of just sum up the season. How do you feel like it went from a personal point of view, but also from a team point of view as well? Um, yeah, obviously, initially, hugely disappointing being knocked out in the semis. Our goal was to go out there and win. But then having reflected upon it, it's been a season full of lots of milestones for me personally. Obviously, reaching um, 100 appearances for the club was hugely special. Um, gaining my first cap in the Six Nations as well. So there's lots I can we can... I can sort of take take from it, but I know as a group we are we are disappointed in how it did end. And you mentioned the England debut. Just how special of a moment for that was you? Was it for you? Um. Yeah, it it's sort of quite hard to describe um, what that was like. I. What was quite nice is like leading up to it, everyone was like, "Just make sure you enjoy it as much as possible." Don't put too much pressure on yourself and I was like I've got here because I enjoy playing rugby it's not my job to do that full time so uh, I need to make the most of it if this is like the only time that I ever play I just want to obviously it wasn't great getting carded but I want to be able to like remember this occasion as fondly as I possibly could and the lead up to it it was just amazing and being able to like take in that environment in Wales um and like before and after the game was was just incredible. And kind of going back to Saracens, obviously, but kind of before Christmas, there wasn't much, it didn't look like top four kind of on the card at all. And then just how important was it to still get to that semi-final, still reach that semi-final when it kind of didn't look like it was on the card at some point during the season? Um, I don't, I don't, like before Christmas, I don't remember thinking, oh, we're, we're in trouble here. We knew that, it was going to be different from other seasons, but then we didn't really feel a huge amount of pressure. I don't think until like after the Six Nations, when it really came down to each game having to get as most points as possible. I think maybe that potentially reflected in our game against Worcester, where we weren't on the money at all. Um, but it it was a, a different group before Christmas. Obviously, girls coming back from the World Cup. Um, this yeah, the squad looks massively different, and it it allowed other players to thrive. Um, and then, it, I think it makes a huge difference not having everyone in full pre season and being having those months to build and build. Um, so yeah, it was definitely very different to previous seasons, though. Kind of looking, kind of like some individual moments. What kind of were you? favourite games or favourite moments of the season? Um, definitely my 100th game. Um, I was didn't really know what to expect and the club made such an effort. I like never felt so special before, which was just so nice. And I'd want everyone to be able to experience those sorts of moments, like running onto the pitch like that. Um, I think winning again, one um like uh like to almost like top four clash and then another one that sticks in my mind is when we beat Gloucester at King's home I think probably one of like the most physical games I've ever been a part of and it was just I think real high quality rugby and yeah if we're able to play games like that week in week out um I think it's just really exciting where where the game can go and obviously, you kind of mentioned that Gloucester game themselves, coming from not finishing the playoffs last season and then winning it this season. Do you think it's just so important to have that kind of competitive competitiveness of the league and how it's kind of changed? Obviously, Worcester coming up there as well, having their best every season. Just how important is that as well? Oh, massively, isn't it? It helps every player to get better and grow. Like, the stronger the competition, the... I think the better players are going to be produced in in the league to then really kick on. So, yeah, it does sometimes 
in going from like week to week to week of like really tough competitive games when there's like no let off at all um I definitely noticed that a lot more this season in comparison the sort of like emotional exhaustion that you get from having to be so focused and you can't have any down week at all um but then it's been able to produce I think some of the best women's rugby games out there across the season and kind of looking at Saracens for kind of the rest of the side who would you kind of give your player of the season to if you had to pick someone from Saracens to give your players player of the season to um I'd it would be tough. It would be between Louise McMillan and then um, Sharifa Casolo. Just both obviously coming in new this year. Um, Sharifa was quite raw at the start, but is just so physical and puts her body on the line. Then obviously Lou coming down from Scotland. Um, she's just like a great player, both on and on, off. <laughs> to the club and both of them have, have had like a huge cultural impact as well. So um, yeah, they've, they've been great. What about kind of away from Saras and someone else in the league who's impressed you this season? If you could have picked one or narrow it down to one. Oh, is it an up and coming or they've already been? Oh, just they can't, can't, whoever just kind of someone who's impressed you at all. Um... I think obviously like for Loughborough, the likes of like Helena is just a world cast player. She's able to do it all really. Uh, at Sarries, it <laughs> one day it'd be good to, for her to be on the same club side again. Um, yeah, I think she's just world class. I'm kind of looking ahead to next season, kind of what are the aspirations for you, but also for the aspirations for Saracens? Um, I think obviously I'd I'd like to still have like some involvement internationally. What that looks like, who knows? Um, and and then salaries wise, um, I think it'll be like a bit of a different group with different players who who have left and people coming in. But it's also exciting with new opportunities that that will arise. So. Yeah, I'm very much like just looking forward to cracking on with like preseason, really helping to like bring the group together. And I, it was hard watching the final and realizing that was the first ever time, like whilst I've been at Saris, not being in a final whilst I've been fit and able to play. So, I mean, I definitely want to get to that Premiership final again. Uh, that's what the yeah, and just finally, just if you could kind of narrow down a season review just to three words, what would you kind of pick for those three words? Physical, exhausting, uh, and entertaining. Perfect. So, May, thank you just so much for chatting to us today. Um, best of luck for next season. Enjoy the slight bit of off-season you've got left before pre-season. Great. Thanks so much.